folks welcome back to the channel so I wanted to shoot this video about pedal board maintenance and also how to put a pedal board together and the reason I want to do this video is because something happened last night I was at a gig and one of the worst things that could possibly happen minutes before you start happen you plug in the pedal board you plug it into the amp and you've got no sound and you're like oh no so you know you do all the troubleshooting you try plugging right into the amp you have sound so the amp is good that something's wrong with the pedal board and then you're just feverishly plugging unplugging things trying to get some kind of sound because you you need all those tools for the gig so as a result of that this is what my pedal board ended up looking like okay for last night so this is me pulling out a couple of pedals and I got cords lying loose and patch cords here it's a mess but fortunately I got it to go well enough that I was able to, to play the gig so I thought let me do a video on this so we're gonna go through how to test all the pedals individually before you put them on the board testing the pedals together to make sure they all work nicely together and maybe this could be also considered a preventative maintenance thing you know something that you might want to do maybe not all the time but every once in a while just make sure everything is good everything is working well so that you don't end up in that situation all right be right back okay so what you want to do is you want to put one pedal on at a time plug them in make sure you got a guitar tone okay so the guitar is definitely playing through that so what I do too is you keep a guitar basically on its stand right nearby that you you know all you need is to hit the guitar just to make sure that you have a tone as you go through each pedal so that's basically what I do and eventually I'll hit the pedal or the patch cord that I won't have a sound and then I'll know that that's the culprit all right so let me put a few more pedals and I'll get back to you all right so I've got this far and I've got most of the pedals on here already and I'm still getting a tone on the guitar so turning the pedals on individually is not turning off any of the sound so which means up to this point all the pedals are working okay and the patch cords are okay and the power supply is okay and that's one thing too you got to be careful with the power supply uh, for example this um, this pedal here the 74 pedal needs its own um, needs its own output is it needs its own 100 milliamp source to work because these pedals here I'm daisy chaining those and they seem to work fine but when I added that to the daisy chain there wasn't enough uh, power so you got to be careful of that too so it could be that it's not that your pedals are bad it's just they literally don't have enough uh, juice to operate but once I put that into a 100 milliamp um, the 74 once I put that into a 100 milliamp jack it was fine so I'm going to keep going here and uh, so far so good the, the gremlins uh, haven't shown up yet but uh, I will let you know cheers all right I got pretty much all the pedals on here now I'll just get a couple more so get the guitar none of them are cutting out the signal I got two more to do and hopefully uh, it's gonna be fine I wonder this makes me wonder what that gremlin was that caused uh, that problem um, but I haven't hit it yet all right be right back all right mission accomplished put the entire pedal board back together with all the same pedals that were on there I made one swap I'm using the governor again but this was the pedal that was on there, which was the K-Line Pure Sky, and it's on right now, and it works fine. So, I didn't find the Gremlin, which is super frustrating because that means that something could 
happen again something could go wrong but everything is plugged in everything is connected I went through all the pedals one by one and they all work together in unison so this is your, I guess these are the trials and tribulations of having a pedal board and one thing that this definitely does illustrate is uh, the benefits of having a multi effects not to say that they don't have their own problems if you have a programming issue or something then you lose everything so but um, you know it's a it's a different set of problems as opposed to this like what you want is the least amount of things that could go wrong and when you've got this many pedals plugged in and this many cables and power and so on there's a lot of places that this could fail so maybe uh, a multi effects or a processor is the way to go I don't know but there you go that's how I test and check everything I go step by step I plug things in individually turn them on make sure they work until I get right to the very end of the chain there you have it folks went through the entire board could not find the gremlin but at least I know everything is working great right now do I have too many pedals on this board yeah I probably do could I get rid of some I probably could which wouldn't be a bad idea less pedals probably less problems anyways I hope you enjoyed the video Please like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you soon. Cheers.